Welcome back to Algo Trading Series using ME Broker AFL from Market Secrets. In this episode, we'll be scripting a strategy for intraday traders to trade using simple open high, open low strategy. So before we begin, I have one information for you. In addition to this series, we are running multiple other series in parallel. We are running a separate series on algo trading using PineScript. We have a separate series on price action trading, trading strategies, investment series, and tax saving series. So if you are free, you can check out our website for these free e-learnings. In addition to that, we have multiple data feeds available in our website as well. If you are an active trader, these data feeds will be immensely helpful for you. So do check it out when you are free. Our website address is www.marketsecrets.in. And with that note, let's begin today's session on open high, open low strategy. And let's start with the rules first. So when it comes to the rules of open high, open low strategy, we need to buy or go long if low price of the stock is equal to its open price because this indicates huge buying pressure. And we need to go short if the high price of the stock is equal to open price of the stock on that particular day. This indicates there's a huge selling pressure. So we will buy when open price of the stock is equal to its low and we will sell if the high price of the stock is equal to its open price. Simple, isn't it? When it comes to the strategy point of view, we have explained about this particular strategy in detail in earlier episodes of trading strategy series. So do check it out if you don't have proper understanding on open high, open low strategy. So understand the strategy first and then you can jump into the scripting part of it. So let's jump into the script part directly now. So let me open the script. So when it comes to the script, in the first line of code itself, we are assigning the buy and sell signals. So we are generating the signals in the first line of the code itself. We are directly generating the buy and sell signals using open high and open low values. So we need to buy if the open price of the stock is equal to its low price. And likewise, we need to sell if open price of the stock is equal to its high. This is purely for buying and selling signals. Now let's look at the rest of the code, which is for exploration. So in this part of the code, we are getting the opening price of the stock, high price of the stock and low price of the stock and assigning it to a variable. And we need to do this at the start of the day. And at the start of the day, if this condition that is open high or open low is satisfied, then we got a trading signal and we are assigning it to a variable. All these trades are taken and designed to a variable array. And now we are adding all these trades into the separate columns in our exploration window and we are color coding these uh, trades as well. So let's move to the analysis window and see how this particular strategy performs. So first I'm going to the explore option. So if you click here, you have the open equal to high and open equal to low columns that we have created earlier and it is color coded as well. All the open highs are short trades, so it's coded in red, whereas open equal to low or long side trades, so it's in green. So you can run the back test as well if you want and see how this particular strategy performs. So if you look at here, the strategy is not immensely popular when you take the lowest time frame. This should be ideally be used with the longer time frame, preferably daily candles. So I'm setting the time frame as daily and I'm running the back test again. And if you see here, we got good set of results. So this is how you need to do your back testing and exploration. So let's go to the reports and see how much uh, returns you'd be getting. So if you look at here, uh, on an average, you get 25% returns on a drawdown of 6%. So this 6% drawdown is 25% returns is a good enough number. So you can, uh, you know, optimize this further using targets and stop loss. We are not, uh, you know, setting any targets or stop losses. So you can add it to ensure that you book the profits on the right time. Because otherwise, right, so it will wait for the reversal signals and will take the reversal trades. So this way we might miss a lot of huge profits. So the better advice here is to create your own 
different target and stop plus uh, ranges and you know you can add it to the afl so in addition to that you can uh, run it on different time frames if you want and check for uh, you know the optimized time frame so with that note i'm closing today's session if you have any queries comments about this feedback or the series in general or any other series that we are running in parallel please drop it down in the comment section we'll be happy to answer and address it also hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful your motivation is very important for us it'll help us to deliver better videos for you thanks for watching have a great day goodbye